Hey everyone, welcome to Alchemy Stars. And I must admit, I was wrong. Okay, not really wrong, very wrong, but I was wrong in terms of how his healing was able to take effect. I'll explain it guys later, but before we go into that, we'll have a small review of uh, all of his kit, starting first with his breakthrough. So if you're interested in breaking through Roy, is it really a must? So I don't see him being a must breakthrough, um, not even once, but definitely his breakthrough too would really increase his skill range, which is a nice plus. And also, just ignore this, um, Not uh, this would be kind of uh, small cherries on top of the cake. So HP, defense, and the last one definitely increases his efficiency because if a mechanical bee disappears, Roy is reimbursed kind of of a one supply point, which, which he needs two for him to place a bee. Okay. So, moving on to his equipment. Um, his equipment, by the way, is, I think, if you really want to maximize him, this is the one that you want to increase up to level 10. Because as you increase the equipment level, as you, as you can see here, recovery increases by, let's say, from 10. It's, or it's going to be times 4 by level 10. So that's 40% of Roy's max HP, which is actually very big. Once you clump up all of the bees, that's a lot of healing just for one um, support uh, Aurorian. Okay, so again, uh, for equipment, it's a must up to 10 if you really want to maximize him. And uh, let's go over his skills, guys. Just want to, you know, correct my mistake the last time that I mentioned something in my review. So active skill is lightning resupply. Use two supply points to choose one traversable tile from three surrounding clusters. Supply points, by the way, is gain one point at the beginning of the battle. So you'll see a little wrench icon there. And one per round up to seven points. I would initiate, I would really... Um, um, encourage that you deploy uh, what they call it the bees once you need healing. Okay, if you don't need healing, don't deploy them in the battlefield because although they do convert, you know, they convert tiles into yellow, but um, it pro it's probably situational, but definitely deploy them um, in one turn, like one, uh, like two or three. Then you gain um, HP from that one. So convert the tile into a yellow once you deploy, obviously, a B. And summon a mechanical B. So the, your mechanical B is up to four mechanical Bs can exist in the battlefield. So there's an advantage to having four. I'll discuss that later. Mechanical Bs disappear when they are touched by the enemy. So again, if you place one, and th that is why I told you that to make sure that you deploy them uh let's say simultaneously in one turn because if you do deploy them if you deploy one now then if an enemy touches it it, it disappears so again you can't take advantage of the bigger heal if they're not that many so for his combo your ch uh, chain combo so it deals 160 damage to all enemies within three clusters so that is his chain combo, nothing too special with it. Moving on to his uh, equipment skills. So this is where the multiple bees comes into play. If a mechanical bee, take note, is within the area of effect of Roy's chain combo. So once you go around for chain combo, then land on, then if the chain combo uh, area of effect, the bee is inside there, then recover Roy's 20% of Roy's max HP. It's 20% because, again, of my equipment. If you max this out at level 10, this is going to be 40%. Each mechanical bee within range increases the recovery factor by 10%. So imagine one bee in the center and you clump them up wherein they also affect Roy. 
it actually increases or adds to the healing because for example if uh, if you have one the middle you get healing from that b then the other ones are actually on the other side or they're far away then they won't be able to reach Roy. only the ones that you are near to okay so it should be within range again take note it should be within range of the chain combo area i presume okay i presume um i kind of tested this out but it was unclear so more or less all of the bees should be clumped up in the middle for you to avail of a large heal okay so going back to the thing that i was wrong was um i thought that it would only uh heal roy but um definitely it would be heal roy and all of the party so <clears throat> if you can remember we have a stage for um let me just uh, go out of here we have a certain stage wherein all of the aurorians have separate hp so i try them out in the secret territory and guess what even if even if for example um roy it stated there that it's Roy. The regular battles that we have, um, they're, they're going to have one HP bar. But for this one, they're going to be having single HP bars. And even if it's stated that it's Roy, definitely everybody gets healed. So let's try let's try doing this here. Um, I'm at level 3 already. So let's go over here. I did already play this with water, but um, this is the one that I used earlier. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm going to use this as, a, as, a, as an example so that you could see the healing power of Roy. Okay, so heals all apparently again. Um, definitely level up your equipment. Placement of the B is definitely the last minute before you heal so that you could bunch up a couple of Bs to to take advantage of healing. And um, the one thing that I think is a problem with Roy is definitely going to be your autoplay. So I tried him in autoplay. It, it's a hit or miss. It's not really... Um, the AI doesn't really... Um, make sure that you heal and uh, the B placements are not really that effective. So autoplay is definitely going to be questionable. He needs to be played manually. And at this point, I don't think he is a replacement for Nadine. Okay, so I'm just going to be placing these tiles here. Let's do two Bs in a while. So that we could see the healing for this guy. And I'm just going to dodge everything here. So that um, I'm already at uh, low HP. Definitely have to get away from these guys. So that I can take advantage. Let's uh, take advantage of this one as well. So no chain combo there. Let's just skip. We're at three, so let's just uh, stay in that same spot. So Roy has four. Uh, do I gamble? Okay, so let us go to the other side. Just swap places. Let's just dodge these guys first, and let's put Roy up to six. And put in the bees and see how they heal. So let's stay in place. Let's not move around. So I'm down to. Okay. So, so far, let's do one blinky blinky here, blinky blinky there. And definitely, I'm going to stay in place again. We're still good with HP. Okay. So we're at one. Just gonna do a captain swap. So that I could transfer over there. 
This is not a showcase for Amimori, by the way. I'm just evading these guys here because I want to sample a big heal. So place one. So we have six. So definitely we can place three here. So initiate. You can actually step over or share a tile with the bugs. It doesn't. It doesn't really matter. So place see he's like a converter as well so you're gonna enjoy him you're gonna enjoy playing with him but the problem is he has a limited range as you can see within surrounding clusters only so there you go we have three then let's try to let's try to do the healing part wherein we do lots and lots of combos 12, 13, 14, and 15. Let's let's try it. No, 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 no. Let's do it on the other side. Okay. So let's do it there. Let's see how big of a heal he gets. So let's just wait for the chain combo. Chain combo. There you go, Amimori. Then off with... Okay, so there you go. So everybody was healed there. Um, not a big heal again because of... Um, because again, you have to level up the equipment. And uh, I'm at 20. Need to go to 40 to maximize him out. So that is it, guys. So hopefully, I'm just going to be uh, finishing this out. So that we could finish the stage. And le not let you guys hanging there. Okay. So that is it. So again, um, a big heal definitely will come if you bunch them up together. The B is what I mean. And you level up his equipment. Um, I don't see him replacing, again, Nadine or Nadine at this point. Because Nadine, you can do an auto play. With him, it's a bit tricky if you want to heal a bit more or a bit much but definitely he will help you in getting more heals probably the than Nadine and um that's it so just have to up, 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 up upgrade his equipment and that is how you basically set up his heals it's a bit tricky but I think it's worth it at the end so anyway guys thank you very much for staying this far so hopefully you've gotten some tips from you know the demo for roy and i know i was wrong and sorry for that but we're only human and it's a typo so anyway guys um take care stay safe this is the warden and i'm out of here